are looking live at Dickinson Field Friday night, August 24th. It must be time for Hinsdale Central Red Devils football. Welcome to Hinsdale Magazine Corporate at Hinsdale6051.com. Live streaming coverage of Hinsdale Central football as the Red Devils prepare to take on St. Charles North. We are underway to kick return back across the 30-yard line. I'm Mike Ellis of Hinsdale 60521 Magazine, and I will be your host for tonight's program. There's a lot to look forward to this season for Hinsdale Central Football as the Red Devils have been selected as a team on the verge by Comcast Sportsnet. And Brian Owens leads the Red Devil offense onto the field, first possession on the 31-yard line. Open up empty backfield out of the shotgun. Five receivers spread out, three to one side, two to the other. Owens drops to throw, going deep, and a pass slightly overthrown, incomplete. Second down and ten, forthcoming. Just about 15 seconds into the game. Now, Coach Tarka, when we spoke in practice on Wednesday night, said we should look for a balanced attack. And we have a leg on the field. And before we hear that announcement, as I was saying, Coach Tarka talked about the balanced attack that we're going to see this year from Hill Central. More of a pass oriented attack last year. But this year, uh, Brian Owens should be complimented by some, some better. Uh, running as well and we have a, a five yard or excuse me a 15 yard penalty brings the ball back to the 15 yard line so the first possession of the Red Devils season will be a challenge to pick up a first down here second and 25 excuse me a we'll repeat first down first and 25 from the 15 yard line Jack Adams across the 25 to the 27, a healthy pickup, and the clock is not running inexplicably here, uh, second and 13 from the 27 yard line. It was a good pickup by Jack Adams off the right side, they, they got a number of yards back, now second and 13. 11.30 to go, we're very early in the first quarter. First possession of the Red Devil season. It's Owens in the shotgun. He has Adams and Jacob White, Junior Jacob White, fullback to his left. And he'll run the option, and Owens will keep it across the 30 to the 34 yard line. That will bring up third down and about six. Now, you, you have to be pleased here if you're Hinsdale Central, first and 25, at least putting yourself in a manageable third down position. Big conversion attempt here, Owens calling signals from the shotgun, four receivers, three to his left. Drops to throw. Nice out run, nice grab. My senior John Lawson across the 45 to the 48. Great ball on third down. Owens showing so much patience and poise in the pocket. A great sequence there by the Red Devils. They were first down at 25, yet they pick up the first down across the 45. Owens will go under center here for the first time at the 10-20 mark of the first quarter. Adams in the backfield. This is White in motion and another penalty. That'll be a false start and they will move back to the 43-yard line. So 
it's another first down and long, 15, far more manageable than 25, but you don't want to get in the habit of committing these penalties, especially in these longer yardage situations. Two penalties on this drive from Massey for 20 yards so far, so it makes it for a much longer field you have to drive ultimately. Owens under center. White again goes in motion, maybe the same play. Handoff is to Adams. Tries to sneak outside. And he is forced out of bounds. Back on the original line of scrimmage. Pick up of about six on the play. Um, make it five. At the 48 yard line of the Red Devils. Second down and ten back at the original line. Number seven for some Charles Marcus with the car. Number seven. Owens again in the shotgun. Watch receiver number one there, Junior Ian Bunting at the top of your screen. He's a standout 6'6 junior wide receiver. Owens drops a throw. Steps up. And Owens will pick up the first down at 40. line of San Charles North. So the drive continues. First and 10 by 10.05 remaining first quarter. Another first down for Hinsdale Central. It's been a bit of an enigmatic drive so far. We've seen two penalties. We've seen first and 15, first and 25, but we've seen two great first down pickups as well. Down to the St. Charles 40. <laughs> <laughs> Owens under center, two backs in the backfield, two receivers on either side. Hand up is ahead, he loses the ball, and it's recovered by St. Charles. So, on that play to St. Charles, North, the defensive line was able to get penetration into the backfield, and before you knew, Owens handed the ball to Adams and barely had control of the ball, and there was a hand almost in the exchange simultaneously. So St. Charles will take over on their own 40, 9.29 remaining in the first quarter. It's a team that started 0-5 last year in St. Charles, but the expectations are much higher early in the season. They lost an overtime barn burner to these Red Devils last year. Now we see a swing out to the left side. Across the 45 to 47, tackle made by number 32, senior quarterback Ben Erbst on the tackle. That was George Edlin, St. Charles running back on the reception. Quarterback Eric Miller in the shotgun, two backs, he hands off inside and he is stuck. So the Red Devil defense forcing the third down in a very tough first sequence. You know, you open with the ball. Uh, not exactly your backs against the wall defensively here, but it is a shorter field when the opponent's starting on the 40, even their own 40 yard line. This is Kelly, or excuse me, Miller again in the shotgun. You see number 12 and you think Jim. Yeah! Well, he is stuck, so the Red Devils force a three and out on the opening sequence. Great response by the defense, so the only real consequence of that turnover is going to be uh, loss of field position for the Red Devils. Back to return is uh, Joe Perr for Hinsdale Central. You see number three setting up around the Hinsdale Central 15-yard line. High snap on the punt, but they're not going for a block. They set up a return, and Herr is going to call for a fair catch at the 17-yard line. 7.49 remaining in the first quarter. Hinsdale Central takes over for its second series of the game, the last one ending, disappointingly, with, uh, in a fumble. Joy 
join Hinsdale 605 Turn 1 and Salt Creek Club as we raise money for Wellness House at the panel kickoff for Wellness House on Sunday, September 9th at Salt Creek Club from 4 to 7 p.m. We'll enjoy an afternoon and early evening of outstanding exhibition panel tennis while socializing with friends and neighbors and watching some NFL football. Catering will be provided by Spice It Up. Tickets are $45 per individual, $55 at the door, and $75 for couples. Go to Hinsdale60521.com to purchase tickets. <laughs> Owens, play action. Goes up top for bunting. It's caught! What a pass! Seven thirty remaining in the quarter. Red Devils with possession of the St. Charles thirty six yard line. Owens out of the I formation. Handoff is to Adams, and he is met. At the 33, a pickup of three yards on the play. We understand we may be experiencing some technical difficulties. We've received signals from several users attempting to access our stream, so we're connected, but I'm, I'm not sure if, any, if everyone else is experiencing the same success at the moment, but remember, we will have the full game uploaded online at, at uh, Hinsdale TV at uh, quick.com. The page you see is, is the link you receive, as well as uh, full highlights uh, tomorrow afternoon at Hinsdale60521.com. And we may have an offside forthcoming. Football foul. 6.34 remaining in the first quarter. Red Devils on the move. Clock is running, 6.20 remaining in the quarter. It'll be second and two. Brian Owens. One back in the backfield, it's Adams. Adams does a great job picking up that block. Owens, though, unable to pick up the first down. It looks like he's about a yard short. It was a pretty good scramble given the pressure he was under. I thought Jack Adams did a great job of picking up that block. This is third down and one from the 27, 525 remaining in the first quarter. Owens under center, one back in the backfield. Line sets, tight end goes in motion. Handoff is to Adams and he first through the middle inside the 20. Pick up of seven or eight on the play. First down at the St. Charles 20, under five minutes in the quarter. This is the Red Devils' second possession. Started by a beautiful pass over the top from Owens to Bunting, and they've since picked up another first down to the St. Charles 20 yard line. Owens will hand off this time to Joe Kerr down to the 15 yard line. 
Pick up a five on the play, and we have a flag after the play. Good. This is going to be a dead ball penalty, so maybe we have an unsportsmanlike foul coming up on the 